Hi everyone, this is Lee at Platinum In Car. Now, some of you might have seen this car before. Um, this is a Mercedes CLS. Uh, this is Pratesh's competition car. Uh, I'm just going to introduce it as a, as, a, as a kind of new build, even though it's going to... It's an upgrade more than anything else. Um, so I'm just going to tell you what we've done with it in the past and what we're doing with it now to make it better. Um, and it's going to go to the Euro finals uh, in Salzburg in April. Uh, I can't remember the date, 20th, something like that, April, um, which will be the 20 sec 22 Euros, but in 2023. Um, that's kind of how it works. Um so we built this literally just before uh, the, the COVID thing that happened. And it only really got one outing before it was finished, um, the first stage. And uh, it, I think it won its class in multimedia. This car is built purely for multimedia. And we wanted to do something that could kind of push the boundaries and and move forward and do really well in, in one category. Um, so Pratesh has always inherently done SQ, sound quality, and then dabbled in a bit of multimedia with his last car. We wanted to build this car purely for multimedia because he really enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> he wanted one of these, so great platform to build a, an audio system on. We put two 15s in IB. In the back, we put three three amplifiers, digital, um, Helix processor, six by nine mid bases in the kicks, um, three inch mids on the dash tweeters, running off factory head unit in one SQ mode and then running off a tablet in multimedia so it could run both. Um, it did really, really well, um, but it didn't really have much competition time because of obviously what happened. Um, We've had some competition this season, 2022. Um, not really high level. They didn't really put much, many people out there. Um, there was a few. And who turned up was, was really good competitors, to be honest with you. All the cars were really kind of nice, really good, good, good level of um, car audio. <coughs> um, there was no multimedia this year. So we're a bit bummed and a bit disappointed. And we decided to put it into... Uh, sound quality, but because Pitesh has done SQ before, um, he had to go into master because he's done a few years now. He's won quite a few trophies. Um, so we we put it into master limited where there was some, some heavy competition. It was kind of the car from two, three years ago. We didn't do anything with it. Um, it kept coming second. Uh, in, well, it came second in the first round. We didn't compete in the second round. Uh, and in the finals, we wanted to kind of just kind of like go for it in SQ. So even though it's a multimedia car, we thought we would uh, change a few things up. So we, we changed the uh, tweeters to Micro Precision um, 7 Series. You can see that on the A-pillar. So basically a direct replacement from what was already there before. And then we put in the Micro Precision uh, 5 Series Widebander, the MP5.8. Um, they were the original locations for what was already there. Um, so we basically just replaced those two speakers, retuned it um, for SQ, and um, lo and behold, he wins his wins wins the finals, which is great. Um, however, now he's got to move up a class, so he's kind of a bit bummed about that. We didn't realise that was going to happen, but it did. So um, he now has to move up to Master Unlimited. Um, but that's a kind of secondary thing. This car is built for multimedia, and then any SQ events it does, it's just doing it because we're already at the show, and why not kind of thing. So... <coughs> That was how it kind of ended uh, the 2022 season, as it were. Pretty much what it was. We did a couple of upgrades just to kind of push it to try and get that win at the at the finals, which it did um, really well. Won by 14 points. Um, so so it's a good SQ car as well as a multimedia, but it's originally built, built for multimedia. So the first thing we wanted to do was replace the amps because they were a little bit noisy. And... Um, so those amps are the Helix M series. We've got one M, 
M1X there at the back, running both of those subwoofers. I'll talk about those in a sec. Uh, M6, M6. So one M6 does the whole left-hand side, one M6 does the whole right-hand side. Um, and then the M1X um, does the subwoofers. So we've replaced the amplifiers. Um, we also took the processor out. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's behind that carpet. It's down there. Um, so we took the three amps out and replaced them with those. They're a little bit smaller, but same sort of power as the last ones. Um, we noticed straight away they're a lot cleaner and a, and a lot more musical. Um, building the panel around the sides, because they're smaller and the wires come out the sides now rather than at the bottom, um, we've built this kind of trim panel. Once the floor's back in and, and the glass window is there, um, that'll all be carpeted, so it'll just all look like one kind of one enclosure for the for the amplifiers. Um, we also replaced the subwoofers. We were using two Claris, Hybrid Audio Claris 15s. Um, they take a lot of power. Um, even though they're in IB, they take a lot of power. Um, and they, they weren't as musical as we wanted. So we've, we've gone with Acoustic Elegance um, 15 IU, um, AU? AU, yeah, the AU ones. Basically the, the, the Infinite Baffle subwoofers. They've got the Apollo upgrade because that's how they were um, in stock. So we just decided to take two stock items with the Apollo upgrade, not that it was really needed. We've got plenty of power there. So running uh, down to two ohms off the M1X, I think we're running about 700-ish watts, which from my calculations with IB and Acoustic Elegance, uh, 300 watts on a 15 is, 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 is plenty. So we've got 700 watts, 350 per driver, um, 700 watts in total. Um, Moving on to the front of the vehicle, we'll show you again the, the, the A-pillars with the Micro Precision 7 Series and the Micro Precision 5 Series uh, mid in the dash. Um, the kicks are going to stay the same. They're running hybrid audio um, uh, Unity 6x9s. Um, they're not vented outside, outside. They're just vented into the kind of kick and the, and, and the, and the, the sill down there. Um, the kicks are quite big. They are on 15 mil steel plates. So, so we've cut a little bit of hole out uh, of the metal, a little bit of metal work to make a hole. Um, that's the only thing. And then a 15 mil steel plate fills that whole area, um, which is bolted in in about five or six locations just to make it solid. And then the driver bolts to the to the steel plate. Um, for multimedia, there is a tablet that goes there you can just see the charging port for it i'll do another video for that at a later date and there's a magnet at the top there which holds it in so it does actually drop straight into that kind of factory location um and charges at the same time and um, is usable it's quite high up and everything um and, and uh, obviously you know the speakers kind of sit really nicely in line with the tablet for multimedia um the other upgrade we're doing, I'll just go round to, to, to the next part that we're doing now. So the other upgrade we're doing is we are building a front sub box. Um, anybody that knows these Mercedes knows that there's quite a lot of space down in the bulkhead. Um, so we've took that out, took a fiberglass mould of that and have this. Um, it's four layers of fiberglass uh, chop mat. Um, and then what we've done is we've made some milkshake. What we do with our milkshake is is it's not just fiberglass and uh, filler. Uh, we actually add um, nice sand in there as well. Um, dried, dried sand. So we actually add quite a bit of sand in there. Uh, painted on nice and thick. And then we also throw in, let me just see if I can grab this. Ugh, excuse me. So we also add in this lead shot. So if it looks like it's gray and, and got loads of bits in it, there's probably about three of these cups of lead shot in there. And again, that just helps stiffen it up, uh, add a bit of mass to it and make it kind of rock solid. So four layers of, of fiberglass um, uh, chop mat, which is 
the, it's the thick stuff. It's, it's the heavy stuff we use. I can't remember what gram it is, um, but it's the thickest of that. Four layers of that, um, and then a nice big thick layer of milkshake. We throw on the lead shot, um, and then paint the milkshake over the top again. So kind of two layers of that with the lead shot kind of uh, uh, put in, in the middle. Um, we're going to be using a slimline Dayton subwoofer. Um, it's a dual voice call subwoofer. So the six channels, <clears throat> we are using a couple of the channels off each off each six channel um, to power each voice coil. More than enough power. Um, and it's a slimline sub. So we, we, we're going to make the front baffle out of... Um, Birch ply and, and and MDF. I like to mix mix woods up. Makes it stiffer, makes it more dense. Um, changes the resonance frequency between layers of wood as well. So yeah, uh, we'll do another video of the sub box kind of done and in, and then we'll probably do another video right at the end with everything playing. Um, but that's the upgrades that we're doing. So we've basically replaced the amplifiers. We've upgraded the processor from a Helix Pro, the original Helix Pro, to a um, Pro 3. Um, we've upgraded the amps from the hybrid audio to the Helix Digitals. Uh, we've changed the subwoofers, a up, massive upgrade on those in sound quality, to the Acoustic Elegance. Um, and we've replaced the mids in the dash with uh, Micro Precision 5 Series and the tweeters in the Apolas with Micro Precision 7 Series. And then we're adding a um, a front subwoofer, a 10-inch slimline front subwoofer to this as well. There's also another little hidden trick in this car that you kind of feel more than here. Um, I'm going to give you. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that what, what that is now. We're going to we're going to probably do that at the end and and show you show you that um, uh, and kind of uh, give you an idea of what we've done there as well. Um, if anybody knows what that is. Put a comment in. Give us give us your ideas of what we've done. But we've done something you can feel rather than hear to kind of make the multimedia experience more alive. Um, so yeah, so this is the kind of the 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 upgrades we're doing for this vehicle for 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 2023 for the Euros and for the next season. Um, we're going for it big time. So we really want to do well in multimedia. It will do SQ as well, but multimedia is where it's at for this vehicle. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think. Give us a like and a comment and a subscribe and all that usual multimedia stuff. And um, thanks for watching.